Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Skyrim Special Edition with me, Bully Bait. We are on our way over to Whiterun. I think it's a bit of a walk over to Whiterun from here. Um, but it's not that big of a deal. Any fish around? No. <laughs> hmm. What is going on? Oh wait, am I getting attacked? graphics just gave out. Um. But not everywhere. It's just like far away. Um. Are we diseased? Hmm. Let's see. Items. Uh, it'll be actually under magic, active effect. Um, no. Is it just, um... Is it the game glitching out? Alright, I'm gonna restart. We'll save, restart. And, um... See what happens. Load... Right there. Alright, so that, that fixed our graphical problem. <laughs> and I think our sound problem. Uh, um, ooh, there's some uh, blue butterfly in here. There we go. Thistle. Hmm. Wandering through the woods. Or uh, I guess we're wandering down the road. There's White Run. White Run Castle. Um. You can free that guy and, and then get in trouble if you really want to. <laughs> um. Mud crab. Um, we don't actually need the legs. The legs are not an ingredient. Waterfall is loud. Loud. Don't worry about me, man. I'm just picking flowers. Mm. Picking flowers and catching butterflies. <laughs> Wait, I know you. No, you don't. <laughs> you don't know me. Whoa, oh, come on. Got that one. Now, where did the monarch butterfly go? There we go. Okay. 
Come here, you. I lost my butterflies. Dude, don't worry. I'm not after your your guard there. Is that giant up here? Yep. Oh, it seems like they've killed the giant already. Well, that's taken care of. No thanks to you. Nope, no thanks to me. You didn't look like you needed help. Certainly not. But a true warrior would have relished the opportunity to take on a giant. That's why I'm here with my shield brothers. What is a shield brother? An outsider, eh? Never heard of the companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. This is how you end up, up a to werewolf. Solve problems if the coin is good enough. Uh, can I join you? Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Codlack Whitemane up in Yurvaskar. Yurvaskar. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. If you go to him, Good luck. Interesting. Well, I'll take the arrow. <laughs> the very least, the arrow is worth it. Now, this farm is super useful um, as far as some of these materials go. Not those so much as um, the wheat section of the farm. Which, as we figured out earlier, is good for potion. But our goal is to get right into... Ooh, is this it? No, no. Discovering stables. Kashit. The roads of Skyrim. What Take have you got look. for sale, my friend? Um, anything cool? Let's see. Do I have anything to sell? Not right this second. Oh, well, sell that. And that. Ooh. That, that, that. Um, I don't use Magicka very often, so I'm just going to sell these. Um, oh, I should use both of those. Let's see. May your road lead you to warm sands. Items. Books. Let's read this one real quick. Let's see if it gives us quests. It doesn't. And that one makes us learn clairvoyance, which is the spell that will help you um, tell where your quest is leading you. But that um, compass at the top does a pretty good job. Um, Clothes with the dragons about. Official business only. Um. Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. There we go. Now we can go in and out of White Run. That's useful, I think. <laughs> All right, so now we're in White Run. Wait, I we'll um, pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. Tons of thieving that we can do. 
Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Yorland Greymane for help? <laughs> I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's Stormcloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Have it your way. I'll take the job, but don't expect the miracle. Have it your way. I'll take the job, but don't expect the miracle. Gotta gather up all these ingredients. Um, let's go and get started right on the quest. Let's talk to What's Her Face because she'll have um, a quest for us to bring something up to her father. Did she go inside? She must have went inside. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Yeah. If not, let me know. I might have it stored. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith. Hmm, plenty. I'd say we're prosperous enough. Most folk don't go hungry, if they're willing to work hard. The city's ruled by the Jarl up in Dragon's Reach. That's the fortress there, up on the tall hill. But you're probably more interested in your Vasker, Mead Hall of the Companions. Their deeds of war and valor are legendary. Take a look. So now we could actually get a bunch of the, uh, these items if we really needed them. Um, but we're not making anything at this point. Uh, Stay sharp. We are definitely going to have to up, get an upgrade on all of our gear in just a little bit. Um, I'll probably take a little, little bit of time. Um little later I spend a lot of time at the market to, so I can learn the merchants trade. Uh, to go ahead and get as weapons. many make as many potions as I possibly can damn those great mains to oblivion they want to back the storm cloaks they'll get what's coming to them um. It's always true. Can we at least go to the tavern for supper? Life's hard enough. Is someone that giving you bard trouble? Mikhail is begging for a dagger up against his throat, the way he goes on about me. I heard him boasting at the bannered mare, saying he'll conquer me as a true Nord conquers any harsh beast. <laughs> if you want to try, go right ahead. I don't think anything will get through that thick skull of his, though. How about some fists. Remember, fresh fruit and vegetables every day. Uh, that guy is in here, so we can do this little quest. Come on in. Let me know if you need anything, or take a seat by the fire, and I'll send someone over. Here he is. Yeah, if it's a lady you're looking for, you best look elf. Carlotta put you up to this, didn't she? I'm sorry, but that fiery widow is mine. She just doesn't know it yet. What did you just say? All I heard was a sound of jealousy. I don't have to take that from you. Never should have come here. Come on, let's see what you made of. down you know how to throw a punch I'll give you that don't let him get away with it on my honor Carlotta won't have to worry about me ever again there you go all done Cool, that quest is I over with. Foolish old woman. You know nothing. Nothing. 
think of our struggles, our suffering. Ripe fruit and fresh veg. Really? You convinced that loot player to stop chasing me? I'd thank the gods, but I'll settle for thanking you. Here's some coin for your help. Hello, hello. 250. There we go. That's a good way to get started. Um, now. Wait. I know you. No, you don't. Oh, look at all of this. Hello, hello. Nightshade and Dragon's Tongue. Those are all good ingredients that are hard to find on a large scale without having to buy them. Let's go talk to the Jarl because that's our main goal. Um, and then we can do things like get into the Battleborn issue and I know your family's honor is important. I spend a lot of time at the market stall so I can learn the merchant's trade. I need more experience if I'm going to run an inn's today. Here we go, here we go. Up and in to Dragon's Reach. What would you have me do then? Nothing? My lord, what's please. the meaning of this interruption? Jarl Valgrath is not receiving visitors. I just... Well, that explains why the then? guards let you in. Come on then. The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. Alright. One second. Before I get into this, I definitely need to go get new headphones. There we go. We got a different set of headphones now. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we got going on here. Um... So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Uh, yeah, I had a great view of all the Imperials were trying to cut off my head. Um, or the dragon destroyed Helgen. The last I saw it was heading this way. Hmm. Smear Irileth was right. Uh, I really still can't hear What these. do you say now, Proventus? There we Shall go. Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that dragon is lurking in the mountains, that is a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not. I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done Whiterun a service, and I won't forget it. Here. Take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Right, so we gotta go find Farngar, that crazy wizard guy. 
Let's see, where is he? This way. Ah, there he is. Oh, can I? Oh, I'm stealing. Of course. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors. You hmm? also said you had what? a project. Project? You think you could help me? I really don't think so. Never mind. I won't wait for Jarl Barlgren. The Jarl can be found in the Great Hall, probably sitting on his Jarl's throne. Not over here in a wizard's laboratory. Varengar, I think I found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. So the Jarl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what am I actually going to fetch? Straight to the point, eh? No need for tedious hows and whys. I like that. Leave those details to your betters, am I right? I uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone. Said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go okay. to Bleak Falls Barrow, That's find this tablet, useful. no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Anything you can tell me about Bleak Falls Barrow? Um, okay. This is a priority now. with you. Anything we can use to fight this dragon. There. Now we have two goals in Bleak Falls Barrow. We got to get the gold claw back. Um, and we also need to find the dragon stone. Okay. So. Downtown. It's now nighttime. I wonder if I can sneak. What time is it, actually? It's 10 o'clock. So, if we wait maybe like an hour, we can break into. Wait. I know you. No, you don't. Uh, we can break into. Into this place, and we can steal a bunch of the loot and then get back out. And then. Gone mad, I say. Um. <laughs> or we can wait until it's daytime. Oh, hello. Um, we can wait until it's daytime and and go in there normally. But it's, it's super useful to get in there early and, um, oh, she's still inside. Uh, let's, let's wait until, uh, midnight. Uh, yep. Okay. Crap. <laughs> nope. Maybe it's... That's... That's difficult. Okay, here... Okay. Ah, oh. uh, all right. A little bit farther. Ayo, inside we go. Okay, we're inside. We're sneaking. We're in the back room. There's nobody in here. Uh, let's move around a little bit quietly. It looks like somebody's been in here and knocked everything all over already. 
Um, is there any any books worth Lava Jack? That's um, that Daedric Prince's uh, weapon. Okay, so I don't think there's anything in here, uh, in this room anyway, that's, it could be worth anything. Steal from wardrobe, gold, these aren't going to help us because we won't be able to get rid of them. Oh, I hear her, where is she? Void salts. Those are going to be useful. Now, where did those plants drop to? Lavender. Um, in this bowl, there's a bunch of death bells. Soul gem. Tap root. all this stuff. <laughs> I didn't see a thing for height and character creation. I feel like my character is super short. Because if we get caught, we're going to lose a lot of our items. Um, but I definitely want to get as many of these. Come on, give me that. Many of these things we can't. Oh, she's upstairs. I think that's it as far as ingredients go. Um, now let's see. Um, how do you get upstairs? We don't want to fight her, so <coughs> let's see. Open that door. This goes into here, which is got the stairs in it. Right. Okay. Um. Fish barrel. That's everything that we can really use in here. Um, <clears throat> so our next goal is to then use all of this to make a whole bunch of potions, which I'm going to do in the morning. And I think I might get a, I might actually cut to that. Um, and then we'll head out to Bleak Falls Barrow um, 
in the next uh, episode, I think, because we are already well, well into this one. We're going to go ahead and use this alchemy lab. And I'm going to make a ton of potions. Um, trying to figure out as many of the ingredient uses as we can. That way, later, uh, our, our potions are really easy. It's easier to make potions, I should say. Also, this is going to help us make a ton of money. Oh, before... Before we do this, let's talk about my, my goal on, on how I do uh, alchemy. So what I do is I go... So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Yes. Yes, I am. So what we, what we do is I go in and I buy ingredients that are the lowest priced ingredients on, in here. Um, and you buy as many of them as you can. Um, so we'll buy this bone meal, juniper berries... We'll buy the moth wing, that, those, this one. You just don't want to buy things that are too expensive because the potions that you make aren't worth a whole lot right at the beginning. Um, I might buy those. I'm gonna buy them just because I know what they're worth later on. Come back anytime if you need a remedy. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is tonics, uh, salves, poultices, and potions on my shelves. So then what you do browse to your heart's mm. content. Ah, excuse me. So what you do is you buy the cheapest ingredients that you can, then you make as many potions as you can, and then you sell them back to her. <laughs> and you'll make a profit. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna go ahead and make as many potions as I can. I sell cures for uh, all ills, and I'll be happy to serve using up as many of these materials as we can. Okay guys, so we've made it to the point where I've basically used every material that I have and I've figured out all of the uh, uses for as many of the items as I could. So as you can see, we have tons and tons of potions that we can create over here. And now that we're basically out of, um, of materials, the goal is to just basically make as many potions as we can. Um, but we, we don't want to use uh, potions that are going to end up making things that are not good for us. So, like this potion here is only valued at 67, but void salts are valued at 125. So even though that makes a potion, we're going to skip it and move on down here. And we're just going to use up the rest of our materials, um, trying to make the best potions that we can. So first thing we're going to do is go down to Fortify Marksman and use that one up. Um, let's see, let's also go to restore health you need to and leave we'll make, now. um, I want to actually use the restore health potions last, you need to leave. um, just because, um, the higher your level, the better potions you'll make. Um, on the other hand, I don't need you restore need magicka, so I can make all of these. I don't need to resist poison, so I can make all of those. Um, and this kind of thing. We'll just go through and make as many potions as we can. Uh, just to level ourselves up. Alright, now that we're level 30 and we um, have an, uh, an actual level progression. Um, oh, auto-saving. Hold on. Okay, now we can go up. Um... We're gonna add this. We're gonna add this one to stamina um, because we have already added three to health now. Um, so let's head over to alchemy, wherever alchemy may be. And um, my alchemy level is thirty. So let's see if I can make um, <clears throat> po poisons. You mix are twenty-five percent more effective, or uh, potions you mix beneficial effects having it. 25% greater magnitude. That one's better for us. We're going to take that one. We're going to head back into here. Start making um, damage health potions. Oh, wait. No. No, no, no. We already decided we weren't going to do that one. Um, I believe... Is this used for... You need to leave. No. Um, you need to leave. So. You need 
what you're going to want to do here is use... Ooh, baby. You need to leave. All right, real quick, I want to see if you I can to add to that. Um, decrease tar targets you Magicka. Conjuration spells last 28% longer. You need to leave. Um, so if I get a Fortify Health, I can add to that. You need to leave now. Oh, I don't have anything. Um, you need to leave. How about damage stamina? You need to leave. There we go. You need to leave. The goal here is to make the most expensive potions that you're you able to, to, to create. Um, you need to leave. Yeah, so this will do damage, health, and fortify magicka. You need to leave. Um, frenzy. I don't want to use blister wart because it's my health, one of my health potions. Um, these ones we can make. These are pretty much useless, but they're pretty expensive. So that'll help us. Now restore health. And the goal here is just to make as many as you can. Um, All right, we are all done making potions finally, and all together, let's see what we um, how we ended up. We ended up with two, I believe, two overall levels. Um, I don't know how to get into the. There we go. Um, two overall levels, and our alchemy skill went up eleven. So that that's basic, and that was just from one inventory full. Oh, three, almost three full levels, I think. Um, so now the goal here is to see how much money we we can make. Ah, so we go in for what then. we have to sell. Now we've been here quite a while, actually. Um, so her ingredients might have been... They have not. Oh, we should buy these hawk beaks and the river betty. They're both super useful. Uh, that's okay. Um, I don't have much for ingredients left, right? No, not really. But that's okay. Um, we have tons of potions. Tons of potions. That we're going to be able to sell. And make a bunch of money off of. So let's first start with... Um, believe it or not, you want to start with some of the lower ones. Um, just because... If they're not going to help. Like, well, this one might... We might use this one. It's not worth selling because it's only got one. But it'll do 11 points of damage, <clears throat> which is very useful. Um, we don't need that one. This one is pretty good. You can sell that one and that one. Um, damage, magic regeneration, damage. Yeah, see, most of these aren't going to help us in the long run anyway. Okay, so now we're at the point where she doesn't have any money left. Um, five points of damage for ten seconds. That's a good one. You're going to keep that one. Uh, that's about a waste for us. So we'll get rid of it just because it's a weight that we got to carry around. Um, target is paralyzed. That's a really good one. Don't get rid of paralyzation potions. They'll basically save your life. Um... These are a waste. Stamina. Potion of Slow. That's another good one to keep. And this one is really good. It also causes a bunch of damage. Um, weakness to Magic. We don't use Magic, so that's not going to help us. Um, when we go to the next place, maybe we'll use one of these before we go, before we sell things. Uh, conjuration spells last 22% longer. Alright, she's out of money. So now we have to wait Come for her to get her money back, ready. but we can... It's going to take her a while to get to get that back. Um, so what we're going to do is go right into this store. And... Got something for 
just about everybody in here. Give a holler. Everything. Right, what have you got for sale? Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. And we're gonna go right on down to um, potions. Keep that one. Uh, frostbite venom. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's fine. Keep that one. Fortify barter. Get rid of this and that. Conjuration spells last. Get rid of this one. See, these ones also heal the, the. Uh, it'll heal us, but it'll do damage to them. I don't know how. It, you can't use it as a poison, so. Um, don't use conjuration. We're gonna hold on to fortify enchanting. And fortify health. This one actually restores the health as well. Um, so does that one. We don't use heavy armor. We don't use magic, magic, magic. We obviously want to keep these ones. Um, we do use fortif We do use one-handed on occasion. Um, so it might be useful to hold on to that one if we get into a tight spot. Fortify pickpocket. That is kind of useful, but pickpocketing is really dangerous in most um, situations. Uh, restoration spells are 18% stronger. We want to keep the fortify restoration ones. Uh, potion of fortify smithing. We want to keep that one. Get rid of fortify sneak. Um, these ones are very good as far as our income goes. Uh, we'll sell the Fortify Stamina. And... We don't want that one. We'll keep the uh, Invisibility just in case. Um, minor Healing, we'll keep those. Uh, we'll get rid of the Stamina ones. This one is a great one. It also has... Um, a marksman boost in it. Regenerate magicka. We'll sell. Oh. Um. Do we need that fourteen gold? No. So we'll get rid of. We'll get rid of that. There you go. At this point, now we've sold most of our gear. Um. And we'll see if there's anything <laughs> that we want to buy. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. See, that's the next thing you can do is then you can go in and go, all right, do I want to buy anything? You have miscellaneous items. Um, here's some soul gems so we could use those to... Um, we can use those to upgrade our gear once we get some enchantments going. I'm going to buy these lock picks. That's for sure. Um, all right. Now let's see if there's anything else. we Any more potions we can get rid of just for that 45 gold. There, 48 gold that he's got. Um, get rid of that one. And that one. Speech level increased to 21. Leveling up really quickly on a bunch of these uh, other bits I'm all ears. will really help us as far as getting our gear together. Um, you know what's wrong with Skyrim these days? And it's right back to picking flowers. <laughs> but I think that's what we're going to... How much money do we did we end up with? I think I saw it was over two thousand. Let's see. Items. Yep, two thousand one hundred and eighty seven, which is plenty if we want to go and upgrade our armor in gear. So let's go over here and talk to this person. Um one of the things I wanna do in a bit. Um is get our armor up. So let's see what she has for sale. Um, apparel. You're looking for light armor. So there's a light armor shield. That might be useful. Iron gauntlets of minor alchemy. Um. Uh, 
Goodness gracious. All right. See, this becomes is where it becomes a little bit more difficult because I do want to buy this so that I can destroy it and get that um, and get that as an enchantment I can use. But that's so expensive, it would use up a lot of our gold. Um, anything that we don't need? Not really. Need this stuff so that we can make some new gear. We have two of these. Sell one. Um. Oh, that's so unfortunate that she's got some. Because it's so hard to get things like. Um. Whoa. Okay, this weapon. Uh, it's so hard to find. Hide bracers of archery. Again, that might be something we w would be worth buying, except for it's on some garbage armor. Like if these were switched, I would I would totally not. I wouldn't even worry about. Man, I don't know. I really wish it was on better armor. I guess we're gonna have to just decide not to use that for today. Um. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. I would like a better sword, kind of. Um. Well, I think that's going to be it for today, guys. So if you enjoyed this video and watching how I can make a whole bunch of money and not a lot of time uh hit that like button and i will see you guys in the next episode of skyrim